Tell us your name and what group you're from. So uh, my name's Nikki Parrish and I'm from Billion Beyond, uh, which is a community interest company. Wonderful. And tell us about Billion Beyond. So Billion Beyond was set up in August 2021 after I lost my eldest son, Billy, after he took a party drug called MDMA. Um, when Billy was in hospital, I had no idea what MDMA was, so I had to actually Google it to find out, and that's when I realised there isn't enough knowledge for parents and young people about recreational drugs. So we've set up Billy and Beyond to raise awareness with uh, recreational drugs and the dangers, and we go around to high schools and youth groups and sports teams um, and we fund drug education workshops. That's brilliant. Um, we've given you two grants now, haven't we, from Worthing Community Trust. Um, do you want to tell us about the first grant? Yeah, the first grant we got was for £750, which was a grassroots grant. Um, this was uh, the first grant that we actually received from anywhere, so, and this got us our pop-up stall. So it brought our leaflets, our roller banner, our pens and our bands <clears throat> and meant that we could get straight out into the community, which was fantastic. So with this, we've attended events like uh, Worthing uh, Thunder Basketball Club, uh, White Talk Football Club, we've done carnivals, the Better Business Show, and all in all, we've managed to get our leaflets and awareness out there to about over 4,000 people, which is great. Brilliant. The, the really good thing is we can talk to people when they're really relaxed and at a social event. So we can show them the leaflets, we can tell Billy's story. And a lot of parents suddenly realise then that maybe they haven't spoken to their young people about recreational drugs. Um, so it gives them and we give them different ideas and stuff on how to broach subjects. Because it can be a really taboo subject. And a lot of parents don't know enough about it, like myself. I didn't. So it just gives them the actual tools to go and have a conversation with their young people and they can take away one of our leaflets which has got information about the drugs and what they look like and what the effects are. So it means that parents are more knowledgeable and they know, you know, if a child comes home with something like that, they know what it is. But it also signposts to lots of different organisations um, so that they can get more support and more help if needed. That's brilliant. And we've given you, you had a second grant, didn't you? When that was two years later. Yeah, so we, our second grant was for £1,500. Um, and this was, uh, we wanted to bring a stage show down to Worthing. It's with the Wizard Theatre, and they do a tour around London. And the stage show is called I Love You, Mum, I Promise I Won't Die. And this tells Daniel Spargo Mabs' story. So Dan was 16 when he took MDMA and unfortunately, like Billy, his was too strong and he passed away. Um, so they've made it into a stage show for high school students. So we're really, really lucky enough to, to get the grant off uh, Worthing Community Chest, which funded half of what we needed. So that was a great start. We managed to get this into four Worthing schools um, and again, probably over 700 students watch this play, as well as all the teachers. So it was a really good talking point for them. Brilliant stuff. <clears throat> Can you describe the process of applying for a grant for Worthing Community Chess? Yeah, so it was a really, really easy process. And everybody at Worthing Community Chess are really keen to help and guide you. So if you've got any questions or anything, um, they're really helpful. And it's just a really simple process. The £750 grassroots grant is really easy. You just literally have to fill in a form. Um, and then the uh, 1500 they need a little bit more information. But again, they're always there to give you a hand if you need support in you know, how to apply. That's brilliant. Do you have a message for any individual group who'd like to apply for a grant? I would just say, um, you know, reach out to Wervin Community Chest. Um, and just you know find out about the application it's really easy when so two years ago when we first set up Billion Beyond I spoke to someone at Worthing Community Chest and we didn't even have a bank account at that point but they really helped and they gave us some really helpful 
tips and how to get a bank account and how to apply. Um, so it isn't just the, the application for the, the grant, they can also help with lots of other bits and pieces, which is fantastic. Oh, that's superb, thank you. Finally, can you just give us an idea of how you know when you've achieved success with all your projects? So for us, it's all about um, raising awareness and getting parents talking to young people, which we feel is so important. And if we can save just one life, then I know that what we're doing is working. Thank you.